Today's adventure takes us to Lagan Wolf Tracks in Scotland with 20 miles of purpose-built trails through the Lagan Forest. On the edge of the Cairngorms National Park, it's quite far up in Scotland but it's definitely worth visiting. It's got green to black routes with green being for kids and black being one of the hardest black trail centre trails I've ever ridden. It's got toilets, car park, cafe, bike hire and bike shop. It's a great place to visit. It's about £4 for a car park ticket for the day. The trails loop out the car park and the trail centre except for the green which goes out the far end of the trail centre car park which is where you finish on these trails. Up a fire road, you can follow the fire road all the way to the top which is what we did. There is a black and a red at the top of the fire road which has some tricky rocky features on the way up there as you can see from this footage of video. Once you get to the top you can choose black or red, make your way down to the fire road and then loop back up to do the other one. Once you've done that back onto the fire road up again, finish the red down at the car park and then decide whether you want to come back up and do the orange, go over and do the green, or maybe take the tricky trails across the road, which are the unofficial trails. Anyway, we're starting off on the red route here to get warmed up, and then we pedal back up and do the black route, and then we pedal back up again, and we do the rest of the reds and the orange. <sighs> These rocks are a bit sticky today. Just leave it there. So that red trail was really good. Uh, how long did that take to get down? Probably about four, four minutes. A few minutes. Well, a few minutes. Yeah, it was good. Really flowy. Little bits of pedaling in there. Some rocks that were a bit slippy here and there. Some little drops, maybe one foot, two foot, all rollable. Uh, or just send them a bit so you can clear the downside rock. Excellent, so we're kind of halfway up the climb. We're gonna go back up and do that black that was at the same place just so we maximize our elevation. Oh god, that's a big one. There's a stopper rock at the back of that. It's this extremely steep slab ahead. Where is it? Oh yeah. That's alright. It's always worth having a quick look at something like that. I'm going to be quickly that. He's done it now, he's away. Job. So, next trail is Rib Rattler Red, which is all the way back to the car park and the jump line. It's Classed as a lower red, although it's still a trek up the fire road over a mile, so don't be fooled by that. I think it goes into a different, three different other reds, I'll show on the map now, and uh, it's supposed to be quite good. Go for black.
Oh, that looks good, I think. So I'm just sat at the Ayers Rock feature I just had a quick look at. Got a big techie rock bit and there's a massive slab at the end. It looks all right, to be fair. I've never really done anything like this, so I'm gonna give it a go. Uh, maybe send Steve Brown down first, but it should be all right. Wait till you see what's next. Now it's all fun and games when you're filming someone else, but when it's actually your go, <laughs> it's never good. Drop it in! So once you've done the slab, you pedal back up and carry on. Clart, red, start of downhill. Here we go. This trail takes you all the way down, drops you back into the car park. I think it's recently had some work, it was a bit loose, but the tabletops and everything were brilliant, pretty easy to clear, pretty safe, no gaps, no death. Really good way to end. After this one, we did actually pedal back up and do the orange trail, which I think might be changing in the future, as they are building a new trail at Lagoon, which is supposed to be a really flow, and I think part of the orange trail might be marked for use of that as well. Anyway, we had a great time there. Enjoy the rest of the video, let us know if you've been or if you're going or if you've got any questions, drop them in the comments. We're about to undertake the orange, which is grade extreme. Well, we rode the bottom half of it, which hasn't been newly resurfaced. And I wouldn't really call it extreme, everything's rollable, there's no gaps or anything. Apparently the top half is a bit more rough, but we'll see. To get here from the visitor centre, you're talking 1.12 miles, 344 feet of climbing, which takes about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, something like that.